everyone! So today I have my July favourites for you all. Um, in case you haven't figured from my previous video, I've actually just gotten back from uh, Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Uh, so all my favourites this month are actually quite summery and quite bright. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, find some products that you actually want to try as well. So I guess I'll get started with the um, with some eye products. Uh, the first ones that I've got are actually MAC Paint Pots. Now I've had these in my collection for a while and uh, the first product is actually um, Bear Study. Now I've just started really liking this one again and I've had it for maybe a year and a half and it hasn't dried up yet so it's been really great. But this one is such a really beautiful bright like glowing champagne colour that's really great as a wash of colour over the lids on its own or used as a base under other shadows as well and it's really great for summer just really quick and easy and something that you can use every day as well. And the next one that I've got is Nubile. Now this isn't actually a permanent colour um, but it is very similar to Painterly and I've been loving this uh, when I want to use shimmery shadows because I can use it as a base and it's it's quite matte so it doesn't give you shimmer overload so that's a really great um, really great colour or really great finish to look for in your collection so you can use it under shimmery shadows and it doesn't give you too much of a too much of a shimmer to your lids so I'm really loving that one. And the next three products I've um, I've actually had for a while but have never really used until I changed my hair colour and it's actually three eyeshadows from MAC. Now this is my kind of warm palette but it's the three shadows in the middle here and it's Kid which is this really beautiful kind of light brown, um, warm light brown colour. Then I've got Woodwinked which gives this really nice kind of golden sheen to the lids and it's uh, these are the colours that I'm actually wearing today as well and then brown script which is this really nice deep red brown which this these colors together make the most amazing eye looks and it's great for blue and green eyed girls because it really makes your eye color pop which is something that you really need to think about when you're looking to make an impact with your eye makeup you look for something that's really going to suit your eye color and make your eyes stand out because it's going to make you look absolutely beautiful now the next product that I've got is something that I'm actually quite surprised with because I hated its predecessor and this is the Great Lash, like the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara which is their new one and it's the one with uh, this funny kind of bulby brush and it is amazing unlike the, um, the old one. Now this one actually gives lots of definition and separation to the lashes and gives lots of length but it also gives volume as well and it doesn't flake which is amazing for a, um, for a drugstore mascara. Now I hated the previous one because it just it, it did nothing for the lashes in the worst possible way. It would just be clumpy and dry and yuck. So I really, really love this one. So they've done a really, really good job with this. So I love that. And it's really cost effective. So it's easy to replace every three months like you should be doing with your mascaras. The, um, the next product I have is actually a lip product and this is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip but in a tube. Now I have had the pot lip balm for as long as I can remember and it is such an amazing lip balm but I hated dipping my fingers in that pot. So this has been an absolute godsend. I can just put it in my pocket, I can put it in my handbag and it's really convenient to just whack out and whack it on your lips so that's been really really great it's a great formula and I'm going to continue loving this product the um, the next products I've got are actually face products now my like previous favorite foundation um, was NARS sheer glow and I loved that for such a long time and it kind of just started getting a little bit cakey and things on me so I found this one which is the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm in the colour 4.5 and this is such a beautiful foundation. First of all it comes with a pump which the Sheer Glow didn't and it's so convenient to use that way, so convenient to travel with and it's such a beautiful foundation. It smooths the skin, it gives really beautiful coverage but it doesn't look like you've got 
makeup on it just smooths out the skin and makes it look flawless and it gives that really nice ethereal glow to the skin without looking oily the way that most kind of shiny foundations do so yeah I don't uh, during the summer I don't actually use uh, powder so I really like it to kind of to look glowing but not be really oily and slicky and it, it kind of stays on the skin and this does that perfectly so I'm really really loving that one and then to go with it I've actually been loving the clay de Pro concealer now this I had a problem with when I first got it I hated the fact that um, when you put it on with a brush it just kind of looked a bit funny but the way to use this is with your fingers and to warm it before you put it on the skin and it looks absolutely beautiful it's such a great multi-purpose concealer it covers up uh, it covers up dark circles it does great under the eyes it uh, gets rid of dark spots it also gets rid of uh, like scarring um, and it's really really good for covering up blemishes so it's really good multi-purpose and I absolutely love that one it's really worth checking out and I know that the price point is quite high but if you can afford it it is a great concealer and you can just use it on its own with tinted moisturizer and it gives you that awesome coverage now the next product I've got is actually a blush that I've owned for a really long time which uh, I never really used when I first got it and it is Coralista blush from uh, Benefit and it smells so good kind of like oranges and it gives this beautiful glow to the skin it's um it's kind of a peachy pink but I have a problem with blushes that when I put them on they kind of look cakey and they look patchy and this doesn't this doesn't do that it just goes on really smooth and it gives a really nice color and it's a color that's going to suit a lot of skin tones so definitely go and try that one out it's such a beautiful beautiful product it just goes on perfectly and you don't need to touch it up during the day which is a real bonus for me considering that I have kind of oily skin the uh, next product I've got is probably my most used out of all of these and it is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills uh, brow set and this one is in medium ash and this has taken me from brown hair to blonde hair to red hair and these colours have worked for all of those so this is something that's going to suit a lot of people so it's got this kind of light color which I use at the moment because it's um it's a little bit warmer and it's got this darker color that you can use um, for when you've got darker hair now the best thing about this powder is that it doesn't actually look like you've put a powder through your brows it just kind of looks like your brows are fuller you can't even tell and I actually gave this to a friend recently as a as a gift and she um, she said that lots of people have uh, commented on her brows and asked where she gets them done since she's been using this. So it's it's really a great product and something worth checking out. They actually sell that one in kits as well with like a, um, a brow gel and a brow shaper and all of that kind of stuff. So really great products and she specializes in eyebrows. So that's something that you should um, you should look for when you're looking for brows. Uh, for brow products, sorry, is that you should look for somebody who knows what they're doing with their brows. So the next favourite that I've got is actually a skincare favourite. Now I have the problem when I tan in summer that my face actually, um, my face actually doesn't tan and my neck doesn't tan but the rest of my body does so I look a little bit funny so I've actually got the um, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Skincare Peel uh, Glow Pads now they're the same as the Alpha Beta peel pads that I use all the time but they've got a little bit of self tanner in them and they come in this awesome kind of travel packet and so it just has that tiny little bit, a tiny little bit of self tanner that when you put it on your face and it exfoliates as well so it's going to tan the new skin underneath when you put the product on your face it just gives you that little bit of a glow and it just kind of helps to match up your face and your neck to your body so that's been absolutely awesome so I really love these for the summer and I'm going to continue using them because they actually help make my foundation look a lot more even as well so I'm really really loving those just the way that I love the original peel pads <laughs> The, um, the next product I've got is actually something that I got from Forever 21 and it was a beauty product so 
This is actually their nail polish in neon pink. And this, this color, it goes on so opaque and it stays on for such a long time. And it's just, it was, it was like $2 or something like that. And it's such a cool color. It kind of, it glows in the shade, it glows in the sun. And it's just an awesome shade of neon pink, which is great for summer. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of this this year. So I'm really liking that color. And for $2, for how opaque it actually is, you can't go wrong. The, uh, the next product I've got is actually a little bit embarrassing, but um, it's actually a deodorant and it's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Now, this the smell of this reminds me of something. It kind of has a little bit of the smell, a smell of kind of baby powder, but there's something else in there that it smells like. Now, this deodorant, apart from the smell, which is absolutely beautiful, it actually has a really nice formula. It's really, um, it's actually really moisturizing so it doesn't dry out under your arms the way that a regular antiperspirant does and it stops you from perspiring. So nice smell, really moisturizing and antiperspirant, you can't really do too badly with something like this. And I think if you, um, I think you can get this one from Sephora and it's $19 or something like that. Now I was using, um, a Dove deodorant, but I just noticed that it left like white marks and things on my clothes and this doesn't do that, not that I've noticed anyway, so I'm really really loving that one. The uh, next product that I've got is actually from The Body Shop. Now while I was over there they were having a sale and um, this is the Coconut Body Scrub and it was like 2 for $20 and it smells amazing and it actually has like really gritty pieces in it. It's really quite a gritty scrub and I like one that has a lot of grit to it so you can really get to your skin and really scrub it really well. Now I got the uh, the matching cocoa butter and I I really didn't like that. It was it was moisturizing but um, the smell kind of went away. It, it kind of smelled a little bit funky after you put it on your skin but this smells absolutely amazing. It smells like coconut and it smells kind of like shea butter and this one is actually slightly moisturizing as well. I noticed that after I use it, the water in the shower kind of beads off my skin. So I'm really, really loving that. Really cheap, really good to use, really lovely. So I guess that's kind of the last beauty product that I've got, but I've got a couple of other things. I um, I have recently been liking kind of decorating my place. I've got lots of candles and flowers and stuff. So I went to um, Bath and Body Works uh, in the States because we don't have Bath and Body Works here. And I love the Slatkin & Co candles. And the Three Wick candles are my absolute favorite. And this one, the um, Car uh, Caribbean Escape, is so, so nice. The description is... It's a passionate concoction of juicy melon, raspberry nectar, and Italian lemon tempered with creamy coconut milk and raw sugar cane. Now, this just smells like, like fruit juice, pretty much. It smells like raspberry, like oranges, like beautiful, beautiful fruit. And it's so summery. And I love burning this in the winter because it really peps me up. Because winters where I live, like in Canberra, are really miserable. Like really foggy and really rainy and really cloudy. So I'm really, really loving having the kind of peppy smells around my house. And I have an indoor cat, so I need something that smells really nice in my house. So I'm really loving Caribbean Escape. And I really, really like the, um, the other one, the Bahama Fizz. That was really nice as well. And that'd be kind of runner up to this one at the moment. But the Slatkin & Co candles in, in general are actually my favourites. I really, really like those. So my next favourites are actually my fashion favourites. Now, the first thing I've been loving for the month of July is rose gold. Now, I am so glad that rose gold is in fashion because gold and silver are just a little bit too stark for my skin tone. So rose gold just really blends in quite nicely and looks really quite nice. So I actually got a new watch while I was over in Vegas and this is a Michael Kors... Um, 
think it's called a Blair watch and it's a really really beautiful watch and I'm, I'm just loving it and loving pairing it with lots and lots of uh, bracelets and getting that kind of traveler's arm look which is really popular at the moment. The, um, the next favourite I've got is actually my favourite pair of jeans ever. Now these are the five pocket Alice and Olivia neon pink jeans and these are amazing. They fit so well, they're really nicely tailored and every time I wear them I get compliments on them and the colour is just so bright and so summery and I love them so much. Now the big thing about these, there's a bit of a story behind them, is that I actually, um, I actually managed to get a stain on my pair and I was terrified terrified that the dry cleaner was going to stuff it up because they're dry clean only like who makes dry jeans dry clean only but anyway I was terrified that the dry cleaner was going to do something like burn a hole in them or something ridiculous and they happened to go on sale on shop Bop, which is another favorite of mine as an aside I troll shop Bop like there is no tomorrow it makes me this crazy shopping person I love that website and when like it's like oh there are only three left in this color and size I freak out and have to buy things it's they've got a really good thing going but anyway yeah um, they happen to go on sale on Shopbop and I I happen to get my tax back on the same day and they only had one pair in my size left so I had to get them and I'm so glad I did because I got them back from the dry cleaners and they had faded so much and the difference between the old pair and the new pair is insane so if you get these be prepared that they do fade and um, they do actually get quite dirty quite easily so but they're such a beautiful color and such a beautiful fit as well so I, I really really like those now, my final favourite for the month of July is actually something that is a little bit wintry because, um, of course, it is winter in Australia. And these are the Classic Newbury Boot from Rag & Bone. These are the most amazing pair of boots I have ever ever owned. Now these are such a classic shape and a classic colour. I got them in the um, in the brown and they they fit absolutely beautifully and the heel it's like a stacked heel and it feels like you're not even wearing heels but it gives you that much height. So I'm really really loving these. They're such beautiful leather, such beautiful quality and they go with anything and I'm talking with anything. I've had these with jeans, I've had them with dresses. You can wear them anywhere, you can dress them up, you can dress them down and they're always going to be in fashion because they're that just classic ankle length boot and they just look amazing and they look like really good quality leather and they are. So yeah, I guess that's it for my favourites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I really I have been enjoying a whole array of things this month so I hope you guys found something useful from this video and um, my next video will actually be uh, either my fashion or my um, or my high-end makeup haul from the States. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!